Hi ladies. Okay, so today's topic is by popular demand, flat shoes. I want to talk about flat shoes for summer. We need them. We have to have them. You know, as we get older and our bodies aren't the same as they used to be in their 20s and their 30s, um, we get old lady problems. One of the old lady problems, bad joints knee problems, foot problems. So I get a lot of messages and comments from you guys about your need for flat shoes. And I've also worked with a lot of clients who have foot issues and joint issues, so they can't wear heels. It precludes them from wearing heels, which I actually had experienced after I had my daughter. I hadn't worn heels the entire pregnancy. Then about three months after I had her, I did a fashion show produced a fashion show and I was on major heels for like four or five hours without sitting down and I basically wrecked my knees. So it took me a long time to get back to where I felt like I could wear heels for an extended period of time and then also like just, you know, play on the ground with my kids and that's a whole other story. It was a big long ordeal so I get it totally understand and work with clients with the problems with the foot problems and the joint problems I've had them myself um, and there are just certain periods of your life or certain occasions in your life where you don't want to wear heels for whatever reason maybe you've got little kids with you maybe you've got grandkids with you um, maybe it's something casual and you just want to be comfortable maybe you're sightseeing you always need to have an assortment of really functional but fashionable flat shoes. So I want to go through what I think are the basics that you should have for your spring summer flat shoe collection and then I'll throw in a couple of bonuses. So the first thing that every woman should have for pool, for beach, for walking around the house um, is a great pair of flip-flops. One brand that I love is Yossi Samra, and then the other one is the Tiki's brand. I think they're elegant, sophisticated, they go with everything, and they're comfortable. So these would be the two brands I would highly recommend. Um, what to avoid in terms of flip-flop, do not get those foamy flip-flops that are like this high or this high with the wedge, with the foam bottom that have all the jewels at the toe or the jewel, you know, bejeweled, bedazzled. Just don't do that. It looks cheap. It doesn't look nice. Um, do something simple like this, elegant, simple, polished, sophisticated. So I will link both of these below. Number two on the flat shoe must have is a pair of ballet flats. Now, does it have to be a round toe ballet flat? No, not necessarily. A lot of women look great in a pointed toe flat, and that's definitely more on trend right now. The pointed toe flat, though, is gonna make your feet look bigger. So if you're already a size 10, you're probably not gonna wanna wear the pointy toe flat shoe. When you're choosing your ballet flat, I would definitely pick one in a very versatile neutral color, so either a metallic like this one or a black like this one. And I think this one is really terrific for summer because it really will blend in with your legs and create that long lean line. This happens to also be my favorite ballet flat brand. It's the Felicia Flat by Sam Edelman. I will put a link below. These are comfortable and they're at a reasonable price point. They're still expensive, they're around 100 bucks, but they're not over the top expensive like the AGLs, the Tory Burches, the Cole Hans, and the um, uh, teaks. A lot of women like the teaks and I've tried them. They are comfortable but they're, they're, they're around $250. So um, for me there's just something inside my head where I can't spend that much money on a ballet flat. So I really always go back to my Sam Edelman Felicia's. Um, so I will put again a link to those below. If you have issues with arch support, which I know a ballet flat can present challenges with, put a cushion inside the ballet flat 
or you may have to spend a bit more money and really get the supportive ballet flat like the Cole Hans, the AGLs, and the Teaks. Those are gonna have more cushion, more arch support. And then you can always put a sole, an insole in on top of that. You just make sure that when you are shoe shopping, you bring the insoles with you to place inside the shoe so you know that the shoe still fits you even with the insole in the shoe. Okay, flat shoe must number three for spring, summer, an espadrille. These are cute, they're feminine, they're comfortable, they're easy, they slip on, they're awesome. And if your toes look gnarly, for whatever reason, you haven't had time to paint them, the paint's chipping off, you busted a toenail because you're running too much, you got a bunion problem, I don't know what it is, but these will cover your toes, which I love that option because I often um, will find that my pedicure is not quite up to speed. So it's nice to be able to throw that on. Plus, if you're traveling or something and you don't want to wear open toe shoes, this is also a great travel shoe. Here are two that I own. This is by Sperry's, Sperry Top Cider. And these I just think are really cute. They're really comfortable. Um, here's, you can see the espadrille bottom, but they also have rubber around the bottom so you don't slip. This pair, same deal, it's got the rubber around the bottom. This one is by Sam Edelman. You notice I like Sam Edelman shoes. I do think they're very comfortable. And this one's very breathable because it has the mesh fabric. It's very breathable so your feet don't get super sweaty. So I would say a pair kind of like this would be a good fail safe. Like this is gonna be cute but a little less versatile because it's striped. Something like this in either a white or a gold or a nude would be terrific, or even a python would be very neutral. And I'll put a link to some options like this below. I'm also gonna do a corresponding blog, so you can go to the blog and see them all delineated very clearly on the blog. The flat shoe must have number four is going to be a summer sneaker. Again, you're going to need sneakers to run around in. Occasionally, you don't wanna have flip-flops on, you don't wanna have a sandal on, you don't want an open toe, you need a closed toe. Maybe you're going for a walk, uh, maybe you're doing sightseeing, you're going on a trip, you're going to the airport. There are reasons why you need a sneaker versus a sandal in the summertime. I have two summer sneaker options that I, that I own and that I would recommend. The first is like a cute little Ked sneaker, lace up. Um, this one look, I like the color of this one because it's very neutral. It does look a little on the tomboyish side, so you could go more feminine on this, this particular sneaker and just do like a traditional Ked. This is the second one, this is by Sperry Topsider, and this is a slip-on sneaker. And I don't know if you can see, there's some gold flecks in the actual fabric. Again, very neutral. These are extremely comfortable. You can probably tell how worn out they are because I wear them all the time. I think they look great with shorts. They look great with summer dresses. Um, they do happen to be pretty masculine. So if you already kind of skew masculine or, or give off masculine energy, if you want to wear these, you probably ought to wear them with something extremely feminine, like offset this masculinity with a really pretty floral summer dress or a cute kicky skirt or um, you know shorts that are in a bright pink. Um, just something to, or a blouse with some lace or crochet or mesh, something to offset the masculinity of the shoe. But in terms of comfort, it doesn't get much better than this. Next, you need to have some sort of summer sandal that's cute and a step up from flip-flops. This year, the big trend is a gladiator flat, so you can go that route. Um, you can also go the route of a slide. I bought these slides um, just a week ago. They're by Joie. They're extremely comfortable. 
I love the colors. I love the white and the beige. They are a little dressier than flip-flops, so they'll look really cute with shorts, skirts, dresses, even pants, jeans, and they're very comfortable. I mean, if you put on a flat shoe and it's not comfortable, what's the point? Don't bother. That flat shoe has to be off the charts comfortable. If it's not, send it back, ship it back, bring it back. Another flat shoe must have is just your regular sneaker because you need to have a sneaker to exercise, uh, to wear with your workout clothes, your active wear, um, hiking, biking, walking. I have one pair. These are my Pumas. I've had them for a while. I really love them. I love the wedge. It gives me some arch support. Yours don't have to be this crazy. You can just do black and white, white and gray, gray and white, pink, yellow, whatever color you like for your summer sneaker. And I may end up getting another pair of summer sneakers in like a light gray or even a yellow, something like that. But you definitely need to have a pair of sneakers. This next category isn't a must have, but I'd say it would be a really great addition to your flat shoe wardrobe if you have the budget. And that's an Oxford or a loafer. So this is a pair I had shown you guys in a vlog recently that I bought in New York. It's by a company called Raleigh. Rolly. I will put, these are definitely available. I'll put a link below. I'll also put the link on the blog. These are insanely comfortable, insanely comfortable. And they're that laser cut leather. So it's open and breathable. Your feet are not going to get sweaty. Again, a great shoe for travel. I also have two pairs of Sperry loafers that I love. And you can see these, this is sort of the new version of this because these are so worn out that I needed to kind of update it. But you can't go wrong with a Sperry's loafer. So I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm going to do a corresponding blog so you can find all these shoe recommendations over on the blog, busbystyle.com. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also comment below. Don't forget about Instagram because I really do post like one or two um, outfits a day or I, I really do post one or two pics a day and you can also shop those pics through Like to Know It. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the blog so you don't miss anything. Uh, I do a lot on the blog that I don't do on YouTube. Again, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give thumbs up if you like it. Bye. So he is a sweetheart and he went to get me a microwave cookie, which I will sit in my bed and eat like a little piggy. <laughs> my favorite. Anyway, it was fun. It was interesting. And, um, uh, you know, we don't do these things very often. So it's nice to kind of get out, get dressed up and